Just keeping it interesting by giving his overmatched competitors a head start. Ian Kelly, Canada's decathlete par excellence, wins the hurdles just as easily as he won the hair trim discus throw. Yeah! The bird catching pole ball. has even set the standard in the newest sport, speed channel changing with the universal remote. <laughs> We could tell you we're dreaming of a better life. Like that could happen. Dad! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> That's extremely good aim. Dad, I'm covered in mush. No easy feat. It's no wonder the Kelly boys are the reigning champs of Kooky Sports Day at Celine Dion High. Although in my glory days, it was known as Lorne Green High. <laughs> Young Kenny Kelly, once again you have swept all the events, from the 40-meter mush toss to the backwards bum scooch. Oh, man, this Ken Kelly's groovy and out of sight! I hereby present you with Lord Green High's greatest and goofiest honor, the crown of kookiness! Little did I know that I was starting a proud Kelly dynasty of kooky sports day champs. Kyle carried the torch with five years of athletic wackiness. And who can forget Corey's reign as the ultimate kooky conqueror? And then came Ian, who... Um... um oh, well. So a 30-year string of kooky Kelly greatness comes to an end on your watch, Ian. <laughs> no biggie. But I've won lots of awards for my movies. Don't those count? <laughs> oh, Ian, you can't compare our kooky awards to those real ones you win. Wait till kooky sports day, Dad. I'll bring home a kooky trophy. Just you watch! <laughs> not unless they give trophies for not getting trophies. <laughs> hey, Dad, up for a little egg spoon race for old time's sake? Am I? Uh, but let's not forget about Ian. Yeah, Dad? Go start your camera up. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to catch the three champs in action. Ding-a-ling! 
Greetings, next door merchants. Though technically, to qualify as merchants, one needs customers. <laughs> Can we do something for you, Mr. Fleeman? Just wanted to invite you to the Burnaby Board of Trade Store of the Year Award Apre Party that yours truly will be throwing at Juiceopolis. The committee doesn't pick the best-selling store for a couple of days, Fleeman. What makes you think your overpriced juice bar is going to win? Well, there's my competition. Titian. Titian. Huh. Must be the lack of patrons causing that echo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got mangoes to pulp. Ta! Oh, that juice jockey really frosts my tips! Mm. We've got to find some way to win that Store of the Year award. Time to get some new customers. Pronto! I was just about to get a pomegranate smoothie. Oh, shush. <laughs> Splendid fruit drink buzz only lasts a couple of minutes. This spa treatment will keep your skin buzzing for days. Oh, no, no. Hey, hey, Nothing to it. Time to rock and roll. Uh, uh, hmm. At least you got a little closer than the last 248 times. Actually, I think it's time to face the messy truth. Ian's just not a kooky sports jock. I'm not giving up. There's got to be something kooky I can do to make my dad proud. E, we've tried every event except, well, the one the homeschool farm kids usually win. <gasps> Belt Rodeo! Of course! <laughs> <Get out. laughs> nice underpants, E! <laughs> you know, when Ian's totally humiliated, he can really move. No kidding. With that kind of speed, he might just have the hops to win the potato sack race. Hey, you're right! That was pretty cool, huh? Of course, you'd have to be willing to lose all self-esteem and embarrass yourself in front of the entire school. Hmm. I'll do it! <laughs> well, I'm off to the annual kooky sports breakfast of former champions. <laughs> uh, careful there, Dustpan Dan. You're getting mantle mites on your brother's shelf of glory. Sorry, Dad. Just getting my spot nice and clean for the big trophy I'm gonna win today. <laughs> sure you are, son. But just remember, when you don't, your old man's still plenty proud of you for, um, uh, uh, well, there's those movies you make and whatnot. Check it out! We're all dressed alike. Except for Ian! Who's ready for flapjacks and secret former champ rituals? Wow, that's pretty cool. But you know, after today, I'll need to learn that stuff too. <laughs> zooka looka zooka booka dooka looka pooka noo. Whoa, whoa, Ian. That's our sacred slanguage you're mangling. We former champs have a low threshold for that kind of stuff and nonsense. No. You know, that clown's starting to make sense. I'd love a face full of fruit and hairless nostrils. Patron poaching? You, madam, are a clown without honor! And crackers, Vic. What's the deal with the clown makeover and all these strangers? And that catchy melody you're making with the cash register? It's called business, Ken. A couple of hundred more customers and we'll ace out that fancy fruit selling Fleeman for the Star of the Year award. 
Hey, that Board of Trade plexi plaque would look mighty spiffy hanging in my keyboard store. Your keyboard store? Hello? Take a look and you'll notice the spa bringing in all the bucks, Mr. Breakfast Before Business. That plaque will be proudly displayed on the spa side, next to the new thigh waxing table I'm going to buy with the profits. Careful with your gauntlet throwing, Missy. You're talking to a three-peed bum scooching champ. Oddball? <laughs> Put that herbal mummy down. We've got pianos to sell. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners of the two-man piggyback text messaging race. Now, me to hear, mate. Dennis and I would like to thank all the people who made this possible. The losers! Gosh, Ian, I can't imagine how you must feel standing there completely awardless. I feel totally ashamed, which can only help motivate me in the potato sack hop. Check it out. I even wore my extra doofy underpants. They got pictures of happy unicorns on them. Oh, dang. You really want to win this bet. All potato sack racers, please hop to the starting line. Excuse me while I pull down my pants and go for the goal. Yay! <sighs> On your mark, get set. <laughs> potato sack hop, it's my pleasure to award the largest trophy of the day! Man, my dad would have been so proud. <laughs> hey, everybody! It's time for Hoofy, the Kelly's Keyboard's Dancing Horse! <sighs> Get your help straight from the source. Buy a piano from a horse. You know, that musical horse makes an interesting point. Oh, let's buy a piano instead of those acupressure treatments. Wait! Clowns no more than that horse's patoot! <laughs> Yo, one concert grand to go with a side order of sheet music. Emergency sales meeting, ladies. We need a new gimmick. Hmm? Oddball, mosey over there and find out what my sneaky missus is up to. But don't call attention to yourself. Hey! Hello, beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you later. What are you guys doing here? Honoring our obligations as former Kooky Sports Day winners and awarding the crown of kookiness to this year's big winner. Which I'm guessing isn't Ian. <laughs> hey, E, we were just talking and we want to give you a couple of our trophies. You know, to impress your dad. Yeah, just scratch out my name and you can tell him you took a first place. And girl scrunchy flinging? No thanks. Unless you've won it yourself, a trophy is just a, a piece of metal. Hey, that's it! I just make my own trophy. I'll call it the blingy. I just have to make up a kooky sport that only I can win, and then win it before my dad gets home from work. Let me see if I understand the concept here, Eve. You've made your own trophy that you're gonna win by doing something only you know how to do? Exactly! It's a slam dunk. So what do I do better than anybody? I meant this. 
besides my unique ability to create chaos out of otherwise normal situations? Oh, sorry, Ian, but if you take that off the table, we're left with... You make movies? And you got a funny-looking doll? Close uh, enough to bring home a blingy. <laughs> And now, I'd like to introduce two of our greatest former Kooky Sports Day champions ever to bum scooch across the playing fields of Celine Dion High, Kyle and Corey Kelly. The Kelly brothers will now present the crown of kookiness to this year's overall kooky champion, the first non-Kelly in many a year, Grace Lum. Gosh. I remember wearing this thing to the prom and accidentally headbutting Shirley Rogers' mother. <laughs> Good times. <gasps> Look, one of my hairs is still stuck in the headband. Okay, kooky has been. Your walk down memory lane is over. Give me my crown already. Let go, my childhood. You're bending it. My turn to be kooky, please. So that brings to an end another spirited kooky competition here at... Hold everything, Principal Bill. I've got one more kooky award to compete for. The blingy. Big shiny thing. Which would look most excellent on my car. Tell us how we compete for it, so I may begin googling inside the strategy. And can anyone compete for this blingy? Like, say, oh, I don't know, a school administrator? Oh, sure. Everybody's welcome to try. Of course, the rules to this game might be a little kookier than you're used to. What? How do we play? Tell us! Well, first, you have to run backwards, holding a movie camera to your eye, while answering movie trivia and carrying a three-legged dog at the same time. So, anybody want to take me on? Yeah! <laughs> hey! I said three-legged dogs! Uh, Ty? Sandy? I was sure we came up with stuff only I can do. That was before we got a good look at that blingy in the sunlight. Mm -mm. That trophy is fine and as good as mine. No. Hey, if a horse's back end can learn to play the 88s, imagine what your daughter can do with the proper instruction. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it over a refreshing scalp massage. Okay, Oddball, what's the skinny on my conniving spouse? Well, she seems to be luring your customers away with Granny Mae promotional giveaways. The old Grandma Minsky cocktail kubasa ploy, eh? And the Granny Kelly hand crocheted Scottish ham! How's a sales guy supposed to compete with dynamite come-ons like that? Oh, I got it! A sweepstakes! Like, um, uh, guess how many hairs in my horsey tail? And what did they win? Um, uh, uh, sn snatch a handful of swag bags while I start counting my tail. So, uh, what's going on, hmm? What's Ken up to now? Well, I'll tell you, but it's gonna cost you more sausages. Oh, all right. How many? <laughs> Contestants to the starting line. Okay, on your marks, get set, go! Hey! Let's hear those movie trivia questions! <laughs> Ridiculous! Nobody can understand those questions! The answer is from the Bolton What? How? No fair! Whoa! Nobody else hoots Kyle Kelly! Go Kyle! Who's your daddy? Go Kyle! Uh-huh! Three thousand two hundred ninety-six. Three thousand two hundred ninety. You wish to hear more secrets about Vicky of the Spawn? Ah, oh, this better be good. You just made me lose count. Well, she dyes her eyebrows, keeps a stash of candy bars in the laundry hamper, and still has trouble pronouncing "band." That's it. Oh no! I always 
also found out that you cry at musicals, you don't know how to use an Allen mm. wrench, and you have assigned colorful Celtic names to several of your body parts. Hey, keep it down to a dull roar, why don't you? Word is, you're the horses behind that's Allen wrench challenged. Maybe, uh, but let me tell you about our clever hair-guessing promotion. I'd never buy a piano from a guy that doesn't know his tools, even if he is in a comical costume. Ken, half of our customers are skedaddling. What did you do? The, me? You're the one who pronounces both Fs and Bamf. Yes, and they should both be pronounced Bamf. It's a stupid name anyway. My aunt's from Bamf. You'll never massage my scalp again. Well, looks like our inner Kelly conflict cost us a shot at store of the year. Yep, I think our time's better spent brainwashing Oddball than forgetting everything he learned about us. Hey, Ma, think it's time to show Oddball your forgetting face. <laughs> now that's a crash his hard drive. Well, boy, I tried my best. But I guess my dad was right. The Kelly dynasty ends with me. You know, a banana slushy might make telling him the news a little easier. Or at least give me a big brain freeze. Congratulations! Your Juiceopolis is one million customer! What? Smile, smile, smile! This should make page two of the Burnaby Bugle! Uh, <laughs> okay. So, can I have a small banana slushy to go? No, Mr. Million! You've just won our grand prize! A free Fleeman's <laughs> Finest Fruit Sludgy! What the heck's the ruckus, Fleeman? Oh, hi, Dad. I sort of won this for being his millionth customer. Ken, look! She's all mine once again. In your collective faces! moo hoo ha 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 Oh! Looks like Fleeman and his PR savvy one upped us again. Oh, who cares about losing store of the year? My boy here finally won a kooky prize! Dad, Ian's trophy's melting all over our shelf of fame. That's just the stain of victory, son. Something all the Kelly men now share. So, Dad, can I? You've earned it, boy. All right! Go, 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 go